Foot like up the Dan Amen here and welcome back to another episode of F1 Manager 2022. Stipe run Australia. We qualified on pole and Fernando was fifth. Practice was pretty average. Now I think we're pretty much good to go. We've got them on a split strategy, so mediums, hards, hards, mediums, and we're good to go. The drivers there lined up on the grid under mostly and they're yes, mostly ready. sunny skies, you say. Hmm. Right, I wonder if Pierre's going to get off to a good start here. Max is on the inside. And it's lights out, and away Normally the car up the inside gets the better run into turn one. Who the hell was that? Sort of flying off to the side there. Oh, nice one. Well done, Pierre. That's awesome. Right, so Pierre's in first... Uh, Alonso lost his position to Perez. Red Bull moved up. Nah, really much you can do there. Perez pretty good. That Red Bull car is still pretty good. I think, let's go to the yeah, he's on hards. Yeah, he, Alonso's the only one in hards in the top 10. So we'll have to see how that sort of plays out. And Gasly is killing it for the moment. There's a 40% chance of rain, which is a little concerning, actually. Not sure if that's going to change. We'll soon find out. So we're almost finished lap one. We are staying ahead. No DRS for these guys yet, not until lap three. So we're safe from that at the moment. <clears throat> Yeah, there's Alonso just in the background. He seems to be standing here uh, ahead of Ricardo there. And let's jump in and see how things look. Yeah, Ferrari's still pretty fast. It is one of the few cars that is still beating us on acceleration. Which is sad. Sad times. Not much you can do though. We are still developing parts, obviously. We've got suspension in the works. We're developing that through the aerodynamic testing period. So hopefully that'll make cornering a bit better. There's another underflow on the go. There's a set of side pods. I think there's a front or rear wing in there somewhere. One of them is in there somewhere. <laughs> we just keep developing parts as we go. We're not going to research any parts for next season because I think this is going to be the... The do or die season. We're either going to win. And that's it. Oh, that's too much. Not four times speed, two times speed. Still a 40% chance of rain. So it's not going to rain. It does. The sky does kind of depict. It will get darker if it's if it's going to rain. So I, I do like that they changed the lighting in the skybox to reflect what it's going to be. But we're on lap three, and these guys, oh man, they're right there. They're going to get the old DRSs. They won't receive this first one on the start home straight. Uh, start finish straight. They might not even need it. Oh uh, yeah, they're kind of bunched up back there. How is, wow, you're really far behind. Uh, you can have a bit of deploy. One, to stay ahead of that. Mercedes that's currently up the inside of the right hand side and secondly I need you to get on the back of these guys wow they really did take off there it could have been he could have been challenged by Ricardo uh, previously that might have been a thing that happened and that's what could have slowed him down yeah, you're just out of DRS range here, and all those cars in front have got it, so not going to gain any time there. <clears throat> but Alonso's time to shine will be in his second stint, so that'll be fine. And it will come at a point where the medium set tyres will become pretty much useless. Are you... No, he's still grabbing the the DRS off of you. So you're not getting away. Alright, set that to neutral. Yeah, big difference in the mediums and the hard set tires. We're really struggling just to keep this place. 
20% uh, chance of rain, which is virtually no chance at all. Uh, this is what is slowing us down, this battle with Daniel Ricardo. Yeah, not exactly a flat track here at Australia. It's technically a street track. As you go through uh, the park in Melbourne here. Can't remember the name of the park. Truly annoying. It's going to annoy me. Alright. Oh, get ever. Not well done, Pierre. Fast as lap, but we still are not in first. That's fine. Oh, maybe let. Yeah, fine. I don't have that pace. No, you do have the pace, it's just you don't have it through the, the turns. They are so much more faster getting through there. But you can grab DRS here, yeah. I'll, I'll maybe just let Ricardo sort of tow us around. I think it's getting to that point as well where the medium set tires are now not as good as a sort of decent set of hards. And we will be able to destroy this Mercedes, absolutely. And George Russell, oh no, it's Bottas who's behind us, but there's no one to be seen there. Oh my god, this defending is terrible, just sort of flying around from left to right on a track. Yep, you absolute asshole. God damn it. Right, I want Daniel Ricardo disqualified from the race immediately, effective immediately. Sounds like a spin. <sighs> Such an asshole. And there's a threat of rain, good. Hopefully Daniel Ricardo will crash in the rain. Justice will be swift. Gasly is now down to fourth for some reason. Yeah, it was just it was just being pushed a little too hard there. Uh, it's really annoying. There was no contact in that at all. Ricardo didn't actually touch our car. It was just the fact he was being pushed. And then he spun out. Which is annoying. He's now very far behind. So Alonso's race is basically over. Uh, there's a 50% chance of rain. So maybe. I mean if it does rain. I can get Pierre in for intermediates. And then... Alonso in for intermediates. Right, the rain is coming in less than a minute. But it's going to take us less than a minute to complete this lap. Yeah, it's basically going to change now. If it is going to rain. Okay. We do have a rain. Yeah. And it is accumulating quite quickly. Come in for intermediates. Confirm. Pit this lap. Not taking any chances. We're just going to go with it. Box, 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 box. You are far enough behind. So that he should also make that. No one else behind us has been able to pit. Yeah, confirm. We have more rain. We have more rain around. Yeah, they're both pitting. It's okay. fine. It's totally fine. Right, the game keeps slowing down my thing. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, see, this is where trouble occurs. Yeah. One of you guys is bound to lose out there. It looks like it was Perez. Right, who's all pitting? Let's get the pit stops done now. Yeah, Gasly was in and back out. He's now stuck behind a Haas, but he should be able to get past said Haas. Even more rain in two minutes, that's a good sign. 
As long as the truck doesn't go into wet, it possibly might go into wet. If it does, I'm just going to stay on the intermediates. Hamilton and Yuki Tsunoda have come out on wets. That might have been a sign of things to come. Right, so it's now just... How has Verstappen gotten out in front? Is that the fastest pit crew on planet Earth? <clears throat> and Alonso is still an 18. Thigh is climbing back up. <clears throat> yeah, this is sort of looking bad. If it goes up above four, we're now in a we're in a wet, proper proper wet. <clears throat> in which these guys on wets will start to shine, and the guys on intermediates will start to fall away. <clears throat> Oh yeah, wet. Okay. How long is this going to last for? Now the nearest person on wets is Hamilton and he's still a very long way away. Oh my god, in four minutes. A hundred percent chance of an absolute tsunami hitting the track. Well that's bad. <laughs> None of the top drivers have... Wait, what happened? Why do you keep slowing the game down? Just because it's on wet. I know it's on wet. But I'm sticking with the intermediates. Because I think we can still stay ahead of the guys that are on wets. But if you watch this, you'll start to see like Hamilton and Tsunoda start to climb through all these people. Because they're just going to have that much more grip on track. Yeah, I know, I know. It's going to do that because it's going to dip in a damp and then back over a wet. Every time the rain lets up and then starts to increase. Alonso's going to struggle to gain on any of the people because they're not going to be gaining any time, but either are we. Alright, when is this going to end? Oh god, it's, it's just, it's in one minute it's going to be even worse. I thought Hamilton would be able to make more moves. Ah, uh, there he is. So he's just past Vettel. It's going to take him ages to get through all this stuff that's happening here. Oh my god, this could possibly go up to five. Which would be bad. And then down to 85% chance, okay. That's in four That's minutes, though. Great play there there you go. Yuki's starting to make moves, because those wets are keeping a minute. Now, the problem is, when you're on the wets and the track starts to dry up, if it is actually going to dry up, uh, you will suffer the same fate as the drivers that are on intermediates just now. You'll just be dead slow. The guys on intermediates will manage to sort of take it away from you. This is starting to come down, that's a good sign, and then we're going to have less rain in 85 and 3 minutes. These two are still managing to get away, and I'm not entirely sure how they are managing to do that. There's been no incidents. Alonso is the only person that has had an incident thus far in the race. Sad times. Pass with an overtake there. Yeah, somebody else on wets, yep. Uh, is Daniel Ricardo been disqualified yet? No, he's still there in 10th, but he's not going to get a point, so have just a race I'm happy about that. <laughs> Doesn't deserve any points. Sort of forced us out there. Oh, God. Please go down. What lap are we on? Right, let's just speed it up, because there ain't much happening in the rain. It's quite slow, actually, in the rain. Hamilton's managed to get up to 8th. Just gained by Williams. However, this is starting to come down, and then we'll be in intermediate territory. There it is, right there. So the guys in wets are going to start to suffer. Yeah, they've already come in a change back on intermediate, so it's sometimes better just to stay with the intermediates. Uh, I'm going to set you to push because I need you to get past Sebastian here. 
He is trying. These two are going to pit. Hamilton is going to pit. There is a 65% chance of rain. So it is going to rain a little bit more. But it's probably not going to take the track back into wet. Oh my god, I thought he was going to run right into the back of him there. Are you still okay? Yeah, there's no one behind you and the other two cars in front are basically safe. Alright, let's up tempo here. Only Magnussen and Hamilton still running wet. And the track is starting to dry. Driver locked up. I locked up there. I'm trying to keep it steady. God damn you. What is going on with you today? It's a crash and it's more than one car. Oh no. So he's running into the back of someone. Oh for God's sake. And there's the collision. It's caused absolute carnage. I don't know if he is actually damaged there. I don't think there's no damaged car parts in Alonso's car, so he got out of that cleanly. <laughs> he didn't lose 10% of his tire wear on that crazy lockup. <laughs> the other two cars were damaged, but Alonso was fine. Alright. <laughs> he is going to have to pit earlier, though. He's there's no way he's going to be able to do another 20 odd laps on these at 64%. Alright. Uh, start to try and save fuel, please. You're going to need it. Okay, we're now gaining on Hamilton. You see the difference here? The guys in the wets are dying, basically. Oh, yeah. Look, they're just absolutely annihilating the distance there. Right, you go into the pit there, Lewis. You need to change your tires. Yeah, so, wet served them well for a while, but doesn't... Uh, if at any point the rain Out stops, you're, you're basically screwed. Right, so lap 27. You know what, I'll set Gasly to push for a while. It's probably not a good idea to push in the rain, but... It's something, I guess. He might be able to catch up on these guys. And then we'll stay with Alonso. Right, so where's your next car? Ha! It's Daniel Ricardo. Hmm. Now remember, feel free to take him out. He did the same to you. Uh, is the track dry yet? No, it's still on damp. And there's a chance of a little more rain. So we're not out of this yet. It's going to start raining before this comes back down to zero. And these are at 58%. I might actually just set him to conserve those. Yeah, he's not, he's not going to be able to get them at the end of the race. Even if he had kept it going. Would he have been able to? Nah. I think he still would have had to change at some point. But it depends when it stops raining. That was sort of going up and now it's going down again. It's weird. Yeah, Vettel has fallen way back because he took that damage in the crash. I think we actually are gaining on these two. Seventy percent chance of rain yet, so we are going to be staying out on these uh, these intermediates. We're actually gaining on science. 
I don't know how. I know we were doing a little bit extra fuel burn there. Track is now dry. No, it's not. Not in four minutes. It's going to be wet again. Yeah, the guys are still changing for intermediates. Uh, the track is getting wet again. That's fine. Uh, Alonso's at 50% on them, their tires. Yeah, we're sort of fine there. Uh, Seventy percent chance of rain in a minute. So if it falls below one, the track goes into dry. Now, if we can spin this out until lap thirty-eight. The track goes to dry, you just come in for a set of mediums and hopefully run the end of the race on that. I'm going to run these down to about 30, I think. I could also set them to conserve for a while, but I think the track is going to start to dry soon. I have seen drivers run intermediate tires all the way down to 20% before changing them. Right, so lap 34. Yeah, it's 45% chance it's probably not going to rain. And then we'll have to see what it says for after that. But then Pierre could come out on me gyms as well and just finish the race on them. Speed it up a touch. Go eight times speed. This is coming down. Uh, four minutes, seventy-five percent chance of rain. So that's not so good. Let's speed it up then. Keep an eye on Alonso's tires. I said I'd take them down to thirty percent before changing them. There you go. The rain is going up again. Right. The rest of the drivers are pitting. In pits, right, so you are going to come in and pit now. You're going to come in from their set of intermediates. You are going to pit this lap. Verstappen managed to get back out in second, which is quite terrible actually. Wow, the track has jumped back into wet. It's just sort of hovering there on wet. Alright. Uh, you are going to pit this lap. You're going to come in for them. Since I think the rain is going to continue for quite some time. So we'll bring Gasly full circle. Right, he's back out in fifth, but they have now all pitted. Sixty percent chance of rain. Yeah, it's just going to be continuously damp throughout the race. I wonder if any of these guys here are going to pit. Uh, Alonso came back out in eleventh. Yeah, we're going to get more rain. Sixty percent chance of rain is anything more than anything about half or more than half means you're going to get rain. And we're going to start to close the distance on the guys that are running really worn intermediates.
Yeah, who's this we're gaining on? A white car? Oh no, it's lapped cars. Okay. Right, let's uh, eight times speed it. Right, Russell's in the pits now. I'm assuming Perez is going to pit as well. Gasly's coming up on them. They're back markers. Yeah, there's Perez in the pits. We've got past Magnussen nice and easy. Uh, where's Alonso? It's right next to Albon. Right, he's past Albon. And he's starting to run down Lando Norris. Plenty of rain still to go. Uh, you can push. Keeping an eye on this. We're still going to get more rain in a couple of minutes. So the track might dip in and out of dry and damp. But we're always going to need those intermediates. We are presently gaining on science. Now there's no DRS. Uh, set you to balanced. Uh, we're probably going to have to do something like ambush him right at the end. Uh, yeah, 2 minutes, 75% chance of rain. Keep an eye on the fuel, please. Uh, fuel should be Keep fine. Up. He should be able to gain that back. Uh, you know what? Use a bit of deploy there, Pierre. But be careful, because it obviously is extremely wet. And I don't want you to die. Okay, science is putting up a decent fight here. Yeah, just trying ever so slightly to creep past them. I don't like it. This is like before with Ricardo and Alonso. I don't like it when they're side by side. Too much potential for one of them. Uh, one of them will lose it. Now, science was literally slowing us down there. We managed to gain on him quite quickly and then we got stuck behind him. So I do wonder if we'll be able just to pull away. The tracks are going to go into wet but there's only five laps left. And you've still got a bit of ERS to play with. How close to you? Oh man, you're right there. Well, you can get up to ninth. I'd like you to be up in the sixth. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there was an incident. Uh, it wasn't Pierre, so that's fine. De Vries, De Vries, locked up. Nick De Vries. Oh, there's the lockup. That's the last thing they'll have wanted. All right. Defreeze bend. Uh, who is this? Backmarker person. Oh, it's Nick Defreeze. <laughs> you need to let me pass, bro. Please. Thank you. Don't let signs pass, though. Oh, you did. <laughs> uh, track is in wet. It's probably going to get even wetter. There's no one on wet, so no one's going to be able to make up time here. Even if they did, it would be too little too late. Your fuel is coming back down. That's perfect. Uh, more back markers ahead. Uh, Perez might do okay. Who the hell is this? No! Why? Jesus! Yeah, you need to let me pass. Yeah, th those guys should have came back out on wets. Right, it did it did have the added effect of slowing up signs though. Max is so far ahead, it's, it's unreal. Ocon is in the pit. Can you not get past... 
Blando here. I'll even set you a push as well. Don't screw it up. But, uh... Try and squeeze past there. No, it's just blocking us at every turn. DRS is disabled. Copy. God damn it, it's so annoying. Go away there, Lando. I need to catch up to my arch enemy, Daniel Ricardo. And repay him for his little uh, little transgression earlier. <clears throat> oh man, it's so annoying not being able to get past this one car. Considering we demolished every other car up until this one. And we're not equally matched. Our car is way faster than this thing. Basically being held up. And because he's been held up by Lando for so long, he now can't catch up on Ricardo. Oh, please get out of the way. For the love of God. Yeah, it's the lack of ERS that's killing us here. Or maybe set him to harvest for this lap and then just run full gun on the last one. See if we can get him up into 8th. Alright, last lap. Pierre is coming on to his last lap as well. You should probably jump on with Pierre. Keep an eye on your fuel delta, please. Alright, set up to neutral. You're going to be stuck behind him for the rest of the race. Uh, set up to defend. Track is still in damp condition. I need to make sure that Gasly finishes in second. Or Ferrari will gain quite a lot of points here. And Red Bull are going to gain a lot of points here. And because Alonso was spun out, he's going to have an issue. Uh, so Max one. Max Verstappen over the finish line and today's winner. Where are you? Can you even get past him? Well, that's super frustrating. Lucky. <clears throat> That's where you are. Yeah, well there, Norris. Lucky. Right, so a second. Second will have to do. Uh, yeah, another six points for Pierre there. That's fine. And we're now a few points behind. Yes, we, we absolutely 100% needed Alonso to finish in the points there. Because these Ferraris and Red Bulls are going to continuously finish in points. So that incident at the start really screwed us over. Oh well, screw you, Daniel Ricardo. <laughs> uh, you overtook a lot of people, so... Because you were right at the back at one point. Yeah, I lost 600,000 because I need to pay Pierre's fee for finishing in the podium. Requires response. FIA regulations. Vote for minimal changes. So, option A, minimal regulation changes. Option B, moderate. Yeah, see, I'm going to vote for this one and the game is going to go for that one. But I don't care about this regulation because this is going to be the, the last season. Right, a chassis was manufactured. That's fine. Got my calendar. Is there no parts being? Suspension? Rear wing? I got the side pods, right? Design complete. Side pods. Are they on the car? Uh, side pods too are on the car. Car parts development, current projects. I've got four projects on. No, I don't. 
I need to add a fourth. Right, so you have three, rear wing three, right, new project design. I think it's going to be front wing. I don't have any testing hours. Right, get that done. Five engineers set at 10 10. It's going to cost 3.3 million. Cost cap remain is 81 million, so that's fine. Right, three, 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 three. Side pods, two. So I'll do another set. Of, oh, this is front wing four. All right, one of them will be finished soon. That will be fine. Continue. Uh, urgent, yeah, low stock. That's fine. All the side pods are completed, so if any of them are damaged, it should be fine. We are here, and then before the next race, we're going to get stuff done here, and then we're going to get another aerodynamic test in period. But we'll get something else thrown out. So the next race is the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix in Italy, and I will see you then. But that has been it for me. I've been Danny Man. This has been F1 Manager 2022, and I will catch you later.